Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. And thank you so much to the patrons who help support the creation and production of this daily podcast with their help at patreon.com slash SW7x7. So today we're going to take a little deep dive into episode 8, Bad Territory, from season 3 of The Bad Batch. But we're also going to be taking a bit of a deep dive into an episode called Tribe, which was from season 2, that's episode 6. Now we talked about this a little bit in yesterday's breakdown episode because we were talking about how there were multiple references to tribe in this particular bad territory episode, but the one that I wanted to focus on for our conversation here today has to do with something that is happening in the Bad Batch that is really rather unique and it has to do with meditation. Specifically, it has to do with non-force sensitive characters in Star Wars meditating, which is not something that we really see. In movies, in live action, in animation, the meditation that usually happens is being done by one of two types of characters. It's either the Jedi who are meditating or it's the Sith who are meditating. For the Jedi, of course, it's to be calm, it's to be peaceful, it's to be able to quiet their minds and be able to listen to the will of the Force. For the Sith, it's actually meant to help them focus their rage and their anger. Now, I could be terribly mistaken about this, and if I am, then please give me an example and let me know where I missed it. But with movies and live action and animation, I think that the first instance of us seeing anything with meditation by non-Force sensitive characters first appears in the Bad Batch and it appears in Season 2, Episode 6. That's the Tribe episode. It's the episode where the Bad Batch finds Gunji and brings him back to Kashyyyk, but then there are Trandoshans doing bad things on Kashyyyk and so they want to help the Wookiees that are there. And in the evening after a meal, a bunch of the Wookiees go out to a giant tree outside their great dining hall and according to the audio description, they don't use the word meditation in the episode, but according to the audio description, they place their hands and their foreheads on the roots of the tree in meditation. Now, the Bad Batch is watching this happen, and Omega, who's never seen anything like this in her life, says, what are they doing? And Hunter says they're asking the trees for help. And the way that he delivers this line is so incredibly matter-of-fact. There's no judgment, there's no Han Solo-esque, yeah, hokey religions kind of... <laughs> snark or anything like that. It is just, this is what it is. Now, Omega, of course, has never heard of anything like this, and so she's like, they're talking to the trees? And then Tech comes along, also matter-of-fact, and says, yeah, the Wookiees believe that the planet belongs to the trees and that they're allies in the fight. To which Hunter adds, we need all the allies we can get. So everything about this is delivered to Omega as matter of fact. It's something that, you know, on its face makes no sense at all. But if you start learning about meditation, then yeah, it actually does make sense. Then eventually the Wookiees break their meditation and Gunji comes over and tells them that the trees have a plan. And Hunter says, the trees have a plan? Whatever they say. And he just puts his helmet on and they're going to go. So then the Bad Batch and the Wookiees manage to lure this Trandoshan convoy, which is being supported by clone stormtroopers, into the forest and into a nest of these Kinrath spiders, the... Convoy as it's going in, like starts getting near these trees. The Wookiees start banging on the trees to annoy the Kinraths and get them to come down and attack the Trandoshans and the clone stormtroopers. And once they see how successful it is, everybody, of course, is happy. And Wrecker says, Ah, the trees really knew what they were doing. Then at the end of the episode, we see Omega and Gunji meditating together at the roots of that tree. And Hunter has a conversation with Yana, the Wookiee leader. They talk about the possibility of finding a new path in the galaxy and Hunter says that he hopes it's going to be one that's far away from war. So here we are a season later, many months in the storyline later, and the Bad Batch certainly has found that peace far away from war on Pabu, although I fear, as we talked about in the previous episode, that that peace is not going to be lasting for much longer there. But while it is, we have Omega and Crosshair on Pabu waiting for Hunter and Wrecker to get 
some additional information out of Fennec Shand. And Crosshair finds out from AZ that there is no physical reason that can be found to explain why his hand keeps shaking. So at this point, the problem is mental, and Crosshair does not want to go into it with AZ. So Omega has to find another way to potentially get at his brain about this. And the way she comes up with is inspired by what she learned from the Wookiees. Now, it's one thing to be communicating with a tree, putting your hand on it, putting your forehead on it, trying to listen to it. That has an analogy in our real world with plant spirit medicine. But it's another thing entirely to be in a lotus position or crisscross applesauce, if you will, or padmasana, if you really want to get into it. And to also be sitting with the palms facing up. There are choices when you do meditation about whether you go palms up or palms down, and then there's mudras, which have to do with with how your fingers and thumbs, the pads are touching each other. And that's a whole other <laughs> situation too. But palms up is meant to be a you know, open and receiving posture. And where Omega picked this up, we don't necessarily know yet because it doesn't really align with what she was doing with the Wookiees, but it's in the neighborhood and he manages to convince Crosshair to do it, which is just beyond spectacular. And it's hard not to draw a parallel to when you watch them or, you know, there's a shot from behind them as they're staring out at the ocean or they're facing the ocean as they're meditating. And it's hard not to think of The Last Jedi and that final final moment where we see Luke Skywalker has been floating in his Jedi meditation before he collapses, but he's been looking out on the oceans of Octo. But ultimately what I want to flag here is that what George Lucas wanted to do with Star Wars was bring some ideas about mythology and about you know, comparative religion, some Joseph Campbell style ideas into the popular consciousness. And meditation is one of those things, but it has only been in the purview of force sensitive people and the fine folks behind the Bad Batch are actually starting to bring it to a non force sensitive audience, making it in its way a little more accessible in that regard. So that's what I've got for you on our deep dive related to episode eight of season three of The Bad Batch. That's bad territory, and that is gonna do it for this episode of the podcast. If you like the podcast, if you enjoy it, I hope you'll consider leaving a rating or review if you haven't done that yet. And also hitting a subscribe or a like or a follow or a join button, whatever the app you like presents to you. And even just telling a friend, tell a friend about the podcast. It really does help the algorithms make this daily dose of Star Wars joy more visible to more Star Wars fans. And there's one other thing you can do as well if you really think that this is a valuable part of your day, week, month, or year. You can support its creation. You can support me in doing this every single day as I've done for almost 10 years now over at patreon.com slash sw7x7 and those sevens are numbers so p-a-t-r-e-o-n.com slash sw the number seven the letter x and the number seven and it just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for this episode as always and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be by seven is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyrighted by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.